Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial, we're gonna be having a look at how we work with this double exposure technique. So making it look like our video is being poured onto screen by this smoke um, or by this liquid um, as it appears on screen. So basically this is gonna be using some neat uh, layer techniques in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna be having a look at some color correction um, to get the contrast and color of those images just right before we do uh, the compositing for the images. There's no plugins or external plugins required um, for this particular video. Um, if you enjoy these tutorials I'm creating um, or some of the tutorial reviews um, that I'm creating for different plugins, then please do hit the subscribe button and the notifications button. Um, but otherwise, without further ado, we're gonna dive in and look at how we make this double exposure technique in Final Cut Pro 10. So as we saw, this is the end result that we're gonna create here in this tutorial. So as you can see here, I've got several layers um, layered up, um, different smoke layers. So the first thing we're gonna do is look at how we kind of color correct these um, so they're grayscale and also so we increase the contrast um, of those images. So we're gonna create a new sequence here. And before we do that, let's just go to Window, Workspaces and Default just to make sure we're all looking at the, the same layout um, in Final Cut Pro 10. And we're gonna to go to File, New and Project. And we'll just call this Double Exposure Demo. Uh, we'll leave all the frame rates and everything and the resolution at 1920 by 1080. That's all fine. And so basically, uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll grab this short video. And basically, what we're gonna do is take out all the color from this video and then invert it. So if we keep this selected, we'll come up to our inspector on the top right. And if you still don't see the inspector, just go to window, show in workspace and inspector. And we're gonna to come to this triangle, which is our color correction um, window here up in the inspector. So basically the first thing we're gonna do, and we'll just pull this to the middle so we can see kind of the full color of this image. and Basically now we're gonna add, first of all, a color board. And in here we're gonna jump into the saturation tab where we're gonna pull down the saturation of this image. So basically we're gonna have a black and white uh, image in this particular example. And then I'm gonna flip my black and white, so I'm gonna invert the image. So basically under my exposure here, if I make all my blacks here white and all my whites black it's going to invert that image and you can see there's not much contrast in there yet but if we move this uh, midpoint we can darken uh, that smoke that's in the the middle as well by moving the midpoint down now one thing you might want to do is go to view and show video scopes and this helps you to see where the color is in the image so you can see i've got a lot of white in my image i've got some uh, kind of lighter grays and then some mid-tone grays we want to really increase the contrast of this so these Billows of smoke are a lot darker. So we're gonna to come to our color correction up here and add some curves. And basically with the Luma curve here, we can drop down and increase the contrast of that image really easily. So we can keep the, the whites nice and white, and we can drop down the color in the smoke and we can play with this later once we've composited this um, into our layers, but basically this will give us the contrast that we need so that when we overlay the image, um, it will begin to appear as the smoke billows on. So I'm gonna drop this down actually a bit more. Yeah. And then we will come ahead and grab our video layer. So I'm gonna pull my video layer on and there's a little bit of a pause at the beginning of this, so I'm gonna trim it down to where we've got some movement in that video. Uh, I'll hide the video scopes for the moment. So Command and 7 is the shortcut, or you can come to the View menu up here to show and hide your video scopes. And we're gonna trim this down to here, overlay this, and basically we have a black and white image behind here, and this is really the main trick of any double exposure effect that you see, is that we composite on uh, the image to make it brighten up those darker areas of the image. So if we select our video layer here and come up to our video tab in the inspector, we can change the blend mode here to lighten. And most of our image in the background is white. The background of that uh, kind of billowing smoke is now white because we inverted it. And if we press lighten, then we'll see that double exposure effect kind of start to come to life. So you can see now when I play this through, the smoke starts to reveal the image 
in different kind of amounts depending on where we are in that image and this is where we'll want to come back to the image below and actually start to play around with the curves so if I click on the video tab here the video inspector and come to the triangle here we can play around with how dark and light different parts of the image are so we can basically modify that contrast to reveal or show more of that image in the background so the darker the image in the shadows um, the more of that video we're going to show so if I toggle this off by tapping V you can see as I make this darker basically come back to my layer in the background um, the more of that image will will show and I just want to make sure that I keep some of that kind of interest around the edges uh, there I don't want to start to include any of the background in that I want to make it look like the smoke is kind of floating or free falling into the image so if we take this now uh, this layer that we've got set up we'll go to this different video I'm going to drop this on around about here and I'm going to offset this so basically we'll disable this for the moment so basically now we've got this colored smoke popping on and we want this coming up from the bottom rather than coming down from the top so I'm going to trim this down and we'll select it come to our video tab and then we'll just type in a rotation of 180 so now we have that smoke billowing up from the bottom and if we look I'm just going to disable this layer at what we've got here then we've got a lot of information in the left and right of that image there and this video here just flipping around pressing V again we want to just make sure that it covers that area just to the right here so I'm going to move this across um, with my position controllers in the inspector on the x-axis just across the right there I'm not too worried about this edge it's not going to make any difference when we finally composite this if I now select the background layer and go to edit and copy select the layer above and go to edit and paste attributes or shift command and V I can now paste in the color board and the color curves so I can get a kind of head start on that color correction effect so now you can see I've got this big plume of black smoke kind of popping up so at the moment um, this is not darkening with the layer behind so I'm going to go back to my video options for this layer and go to the blend mode and then to the darken options and now you can see those layers of smoke are kind of combining as they play back so we've got this kind of black and white montage of smoke in the background so now if I come to my top layer and right click and go to enable or V is the shortcut if we just pause and let this render and then play it back you can see now we have this smoke billowing on from the top and then from the bottom that is now revealing those different aspects of the video in the background and we can nudge the timing of these obviously to kind of fit what we want now one thing I might change in this top video um, I kind of want the trees to start getting revealed around here um, is I'm going to also accentuate the zoom a little bit so I'm going to come to my uh, crop tools here in the middle and we'll select the Ken Burns crop effect and basically I want to start this at the beginning so that we cut out that little bit of sky at the top so when the smoke billows on it kind of starts to show the trees straight away and we'll also have this zoom in a little bit as well so basically I've got my green start for the Ken Burns effect and then the end point um, never kind of crossing that green tree line so we always get this kind of full image as the smoke comes on which will help to improve the illusion so basically now if we let this render out again so let's play this one back now so now you can see we get that nice defined edge as the smoke billows on from the top we don't get that kind of little gap from the sky before and you can film anything that has this kind of heavy contrast in it 
um, to make this effect. Um, so whether you're filming something that's black and white, um, even if you do film something that's black and white, you may still want to desaturate it just so you kind of get that nice pure clean uh, color and kind of smoky effect in the background. But basically, we can make anything that we can turn to this contrasted black and white image um, create this effect in Final Cut Pro, in Adobe Photoshop, um, and in any other application where you can use those blend modes to composite different images together. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope that's been useful. Um, if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro 10 um, or about how to um, work with this effect in Final Cut Pro 10, then please leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.